This is the all-new Renault Megane E-Tech and probably one of the most important cars that Renault are going to have for quite some time because the Renault Megane E is the first proper ground-up EV since the Zoe and it's their first new model since the Zoe. The Zoe's had some facelifts and iterations but it's essentially been the same car that got released in 2013 and because of that it didn't score so well in some tests when it came to NCAP which we'll be looking at the NCAP rating on this which is of course five star. Megane is the first Renault to get the new style badge. Now at the front here we've got some really nice styling. In fact I actually really like the styling of the Megane. We have LED pure vision lights. They're not matrix lights. Now that's a small let down at the front but Renault have finally done something for right hand drive drivers and the UK. They've put a bonnet catch on the right hand side driver's side so now you don't have to lean over to the passenger side to open your bonnet. And when you open the bonnet, obviously, you know, being an electric car, it has no frunk, uh, no frunk at all, and no gas strut hinges. So, so that's a bit of a letdown from Renault there. Now, the reason it hasn't got a frunk is Renault, if you can see clearly, have used all the space by putting motors and charging infrastructure here. And the reason they put all this stuff here is because the Megan E keeps the Zoe's 22 kilowatt AC charging capacity. Now we're going to look at the DC charging capacity in a minute as well as the efficiency of the car. So this is the Techno version. The Techno version is 39495. It has the LED headlights that we mentioned. It's also got these 20 inch alloy wheels. Now they do do a, a sort of lower version which is the Equilib. That's going to be 36995 and there is some launch edition Megane E electric still available. The Megane E electric interior is very, very nice. Now, you probably have heard that it doesn't have the larger screen here in the UK. We've got this tinier screen. Now, that might not actually be a disadvantage. Some people in Europe have complained that the larger screen, when in, does catch your left knee a little bit when it's, you know, you're using the clutch or using the accelerator it could be a problem especially for people who lean who are tall with the clutch at the, catching that bottom of that screen so that actually might not be a big issue the one issue i've got with the small screen and probably more the reverse cameras when you actually put it in reverse the camera's very very small on this on this big screen and it's also a little bit pixelated it's not the best quality reverse camera i've seen but it's also not the worst for the worst see the Corsair e now the Techno, even though it is the highest spec Megane electric you can get, it doesn't have leather seats. We have this half leather. Before we talk about the efficiency, let's talk about how well it drives because it really does drive really, really well. In fact, so well that I have a Performance Model 3 pull car for work. Luke, who's my cameraman today, has a Tesla Model 3 long range. And it's not as fast as the Tesla. It's, you know, it's around about seven second naught to 62. But what we have both agreed is it handles better. It seems to handle bumps better. It's got a better turning circle. It just seems to hold the road a little bit nicer, drives a little bit nicer, it's quieter. It's just a pleasure to drive. It is actually a really, really, really well put together car for driving. They've also added some new features to the Megane. They've now got flappy paddles, very similar to the Kona. You hold the left pedal, it will bring you to a, a, a more aggressive regen and stop the car completely and apply the brake and it physically moves the brake pedal which is a bit unnerving the first time it happens the right one will reduce the regen in fact it will reduce it to none so it will just coast like a normal petrol car we also have adaptive cruise on us on a Renault so if we set that to adaptive cruise now and we have the lane keep assist we will also hold the lane perfectly and unconcerningly, a little bit worrying, you don't have to touch the steering wheel for quite a long time. In fact, I don't think Renault have set a timer at all to not tell you not to touch the steering wheel. I reckon it could probably do several miles before it would eventually turn that off. So quite fun if you want to drive uh, completely autonomously on a motorway, unlike having a Tesla where it bings and bongs at you every couple of seconds to hold the steering wheel. But this car really does drive well. So some quick headline figures on this. The WLTP is 280 miles, which will call into question when we get to the efficiency. Boot size is 440 litres. We've obviously got the Google OS system on here. Now, some features I really, really like on the interior. This new front screen here is 
absolutely stunning it looks really well but we can change the view we've got a couple of views a couple of things with dashes the way it works the way you can see it now it does preheat when you set for a charger to where you're going which is a nice little feature yet again um, there's a multi-sense button here which changes it from sport to comfort to a personal setting they change a couple of settings like how the uh, air conditioning behaves how hot it gets how the performance works how much regen it works and there are a couple of customizable settings now the U k versions do not have a heat pump so if you are wanting a heat pump on the megani you've got no choice now there is arguments that a heat pump in the uk isn't really a huge benefit and there is videos on other youtube channels which have proved that with two cars of the same spec one with heat pump one without heat pump and the difference of range is absolutely tiny tiny little pet hate on the megani that i do have to mention is this boot isn't an electric tailgate it's not electric up and it's not electric down now if you're interested in knowing how fast the megani charges or its efficiency then check out this video here